What is up, party people? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Jeremy, and this is La Comida Jeremy. If you guys are OG followers, you guys know that these videos are my thing. If you know what I'm talking about, it's the title of the video. It's my New York City travel haul. I basically do these every time I travel because I tend to find some cool things, and I also love to pick up foods that I cannot find near me. And I'd love to show you guys just in case you want to travel and find something that you've been looking for, you might see it in this video, and you can pick it up in New York City or wherever I did travel to. I'm going to start off with the not-so-exciting things. Um, so I did go to Savers, and Savers, if you know, is one of my favorite thrift stores. Um, and I picked up a kitchen appliance, and um, it was this one right here. So I'm basically frying sometimes, and I don't want to put like plastic inside to pick stuff up. So I did find this one. It came inside a plastic bag. It's Savers, they have plastic bags filled with many different things, and they have different themes. So they'll have like bags filled with toys, bags filled with kitchen appliances. So I found this one, and I said, oh, I need that. So I gave my mom the other two things that were in it. I honestly don't even remember what they were, but I needed this one, so I did pick this one up. Also, while I was at my grandma's house, um, she told me I could take whatever I wanted because she cooks, but she doesn't cook as much as she used to. So I just went through her drawer and found some things. So this one is kind of like a vegetable peeler, but like a different kind of one. It's very like silver, um, metallic material. I don't know what to call it, but basically it's called, it's the magic brand. <laughs> And I love like utensils like this because they last way longer. I'm sure my grandma has had, has had this for like forever. So I found this one in her drawer. She doesn't use it. So I took it and I'll be peeling some things. Also took one of these for my videos because I do have wooden spoons and like some plastic ones. Um, but I wanted one like this especially for video and like photo like purposes because it looks nicer in like that content. So this is what I got and um also got a ladle. It's nice and the last. And the last thing is kind of like a whisk, but one that you can use to pick up things. So I thought that was really awesome for my videos when I am like frying things that are like in a dredge so I can mix it and then open it to pick it up and put it inside the fryer and then use it to pick it out of the fryer. So I thought that was really awesome. So the next silver item that I picked up from Savers was this, like, silver tea kettle water boiling thing but it's very like it looks like a pistol or something and i just thought that it was super cute and how like it lifts also is like really cool very vintage and basically it's just to make some coffee because i want to start making coffee in my french press but i didn't have one of these and i also didn't want to buy a new thing to you know be sustainable so i picked this one up it was only 4.99 at savers so when you're picking up appliances, be sure to go to your local thrift store. They have so many cool things. I feel like you guys, I feel, I feel like you guys should be a little closer. <laughs> so I also went to the like 99 cent store. That's like not really 99 cents. So I don't know why they call it 99 cents, but in the hood they have so many of these. So basically, it's a 99 cent store, and they have like a cool like amount of like different things. You don't know what you're gonna find in there, just like the thrift store. And I came across these toothpaste. They're called Herbal Essential Toothpaste. And basically they look like this. And they had another one that I actually wanted to pick up, but it had honey in it, so couldn't get that one. So this one has only five ingredients. I even checked it. Zaffron, tea tree, aloe vera, ginger, lemon, vegetable base. Like, this is what it looks like. It has like the vegetables on it. And this was $3.49. It smells so good now that I just opened it. Smells so fresh and so clean. Basically, Cafe Bustelo is sold here in Memphis, but it is so freaking expensive and I don't know why, because it's literally just grounded coffee. It's not like it's fresh coffee beans. Not knocking Cafe Bustelo though, because my favorite coffee. Coffee. Um, but basically, I got three on sale. Actually, my grandma bought me these. Um, we went to a place called Food Bazaar and they had some cafe. And yeah, it's just espresso ground coffee. It's very strong. I love this coffee. It reminds me of my childhood when it was brewing and like at my grandma's house. Um, so I definitely am going to, you know, use these. The next place that I went to was when I was in Brooklyn. If you saw my vlog, you guys know that I went to the Brooklyn Arts Museum, Brooklyn Museum, and we went to the Frida Kahlo exhibit. If you haven't seen that vlog yet, make sure you click up here or down below in the description box. 
So you make sure to see all, all that fun stuff that I got up to in the vlog. And also be sure to check out all the places that I ate at up here or down below in the description box. Um, so basically, I wanted to get something that was free to so I can frame. So, I picked up these things just like as memorabilia. Because I like to get these things. I don't know, just to remind me, I have like a little memory box of places that I went to and things that I did. And then also they had these, I got this for a friend, but this one, so I can frame it. And um, this is just literally like the, I don't know, like ticket prices, membership deal, but they had free to art. They had a couple, but I only got this one. And um, this is like her famous Vogue cover. So I thought this was cool. If you're going to the exhibit and you want something free and not want to spend money, Definitely get these while you're buying your ticket. And then the next thing that I got was this right here. So basically, I got three Frida Kahlo like postcards to frame and put them on my desk. I got one that's in color, so it'll be like in the middle of the two that are in black and white. So this one is kind of like of her art studio. I thought that was super cute, super cool. And this one is of her in front of a painting. I don't know what painting this is or if it's even hers, but I feel like it might be her husband's painting. But that's just her looking badass. And then this is one of her famous paintings. And they had so many paintings there of hers, like in the exhibit, but you couldn't take photos of anything, so that was a bore. But the exhibit itself was pretty damn awesome. So if you have time, I'm pretty sure that they're there till May. So go check them out if you have time and if you're going to Brooklyn anytime soon. So when I went to Whole Foods in Brooklyn, I found this that I was actually going to order online. I'm a member of Thrive Market and they sell like a lot of stuff that isn't sold in the stores but a little bit cheaper. But um, I just wasn't wanting to order a lot of stuff so I didn't end up ordering it. So I got this. So it's basically pho, pho, pho broth. And I believe it comes with the noodles. Yes, so it comes with the broth the noodles, jalapenos, I did not know that, and a microwavable bowl. That is so freaking cool. So basically, it's like a microwavable meal, it's ready to go, and I actually thought that it was broth that you can cook up in the like stove, but it's actually microwave. I didn't even read that. So next in here, I went to a place called Chef. I honestly don't even remember what it's called because they sell things for cooking and like culinary, but like, it's not their brand because they're selling other stuff, but it's basically in Orange, Connecticut. I don't know if they have other locations, but I will link the information down below. And it's right next to my old job. Um, and my mother got me some cool things. I was actually gonna buy it, but she bought it for me as a gift. So um, I have been looking for a nut milk bag. I was gonna order one online, but they had some cheaper alternatives. So this one was $5.99 and it just looks like that. And I'm excited to try this out. I've never, like, milked anything, like almonds or any of that stuff. But I'm excited to start making my own milks. I'm going to be making, like, so many things for the channel and also for myself because I'm tired of spending money. The next straining thing that I got is a cheesecloth. And basically, this is used to make cheese, such as, like, those of, um, I don't know. Jesus. <laughs> the last two things from this store I got were some mini whisks. And I actually have some, but they're wider than this. So I wanted some nicer ones when I'm making little dips and stuff. Especially for videos, you know, you want to get that nice aesthetic going. Alright, this is something that I've really wanted for a while. Some pretty tablespoons. I hate using plastic tablespoons in like my videos and like footage and photography because it just... It's not aesthetically pleasing. And also, I feel like, you know, they're just gonna break someday. So I definitely wanted some high quality table measuring spoons. So they look like this. They are so heavy, like they're heavy. So, and then at the, in the middle, you will see that it has like the engraved sizes. And I just think that this is like the cutest freaking thing ever. And um, yeah, I'm excited to have this. These were pricey, I will say. Um, my mom bought me these kitchen stuff because she wanted to give me a present. Um, but I was definitely gonna buy these because they were pretty pricey. So these were $17.99, um, almost 20 bucks for some measuring spoons. I know you're probably looking at me like, what the hell's wrong with you? But you know, I am a grown up now and I'm trying to throw away things that like are like not my aesthetic anymore. I'm trying to get into that minimalistic lifestyle, have less things, less is more. 
and I'm also, you know, trying to have cute things. And like, as a grown up, I don't want things that are like childish, like my first apartment. So, um, I'm getting things like this. All right, the next cheese I got was the Tofuti. I honestly don't know how to say that word, but it's the Tofuti, 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 vegan, all American cheese, dairy free. I thought this was so cool. I have been looking for this cheese because I've been wanting to try it. I see it on online vegan shops, but I had never seen it in stores near me. And I've been to a lot of cities and I've never seen this anywhere. Um, Tofuti is like in Whole Foods and they have like their cream cheeses and like those things. But I've never seen their cheeses like this. And the reason why I've been wanting to try this is because they don't really sell any American style cheeses other than the Dyer brand, which is gross. Um, but this one was pretty good. And it's pretty cool, very nostalgic. It is wrapped up in plastic, y'all. Like, plastic American cheese. And if you know anything about vegan cheeses, you know that they usually come in a block and they're usually stuck together so it's hard to separate them. So this one, I would recommend. Um, it does taste like plastic, guys. Not gonna lie. This is not a sand like a sandwich cheese. You don't want to put this in a regular sandwich without melting it. This is a cheese that needs to be melted. You want to put this inside of like a burger. You want to put this inside of a grilled cheese with some tomato soup on the side. You want to melt this. And it's pretty cheap, I will say. It's like the cheapest cheese that I found. Um, but yeah, other than that, vegan cheese, vegan American cheese, classical American like branding. I just thought it was very cool, very nostalgic. Okay, so the next brand of food that I picked up was something called Mei Wei, Mei Wa, vegan imitation meat. And I have been wanting to try this. They are based out of New York City. So Food Bazaar, C-Town, ShopRite, um, there's another store, I can't remember the name of it. But they are basically in the tri-state area as well and they sell throughout New Jersey. Connecticut, New York City, and probably even Boston, um, Massachusetts. So this is sold like within that area as well. So I didn't know that they actually sold this at Food Bazaar. So pick some up because they were on sale for three something. So I'm definitely going to make a separate video for this of me trying them. So look out for that video because I feel like I want to show you guys what they actually look like and taste like. So yeah. The first one I picked up is teriyaki beef. I'm so excited to try this one. I'm gonna speed through this because I'm gonna make another video on it. So I don't want to like, you know, talk about it too much. I got some teriyaki chicken. And um, that will be made with like a stir fry, broccoli, something. This one I've actually eaten already. But it's basically ginger chicken. And I'm gonna tell you right now that I did not like it. The sauce was disgusting. The chicken itself is freaking amazing. Like, they do a really good job. I don't know how they do it. But they do a really good job of making vegan mock meats. This is another one that I've tried already. Um, you guys follow me on Instagram. You're gonna know that this shit was blowing my mind, honestly. Chicken legs. First of all, who would even think to make chicken legs? I feel like everybody makes, like, seitan chicken, but it's usually, like, a... It's probably like a chicken breast patty or like, you know what I mean? Like those kind of things. I've never seen chicken legs. Y'all, this ish right here tastes like a damn chicken wing. Chicken leg. It is so meaty. The bite, I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. Make sure you guys watch the video for this one coming out very soon. All right, the last three items. So, my mother decided to get me this while we were at Whole Foods. It's called... 89 simple vegan recipes. I don't know who makes this, honestly. Um, I do know in the back it says visit communitytable.com. So I'm assuming that's who makes this magazine. I will do more research and I will link it down below. Um, but basically it's literally just 89 recipes. And um, they have so many cool things in here. If you guys would like to see a video of me like testing out recipes from this, let me know down below in the comments and I will definitely test that out. They have like vegan cheese made out of, I forget what it was made out of, but it was made out of something that I had never heard of and my mouth was like watering just looking at this. And the last place I went to was L Train Vintage. L Train Vintage is basically a vintage thrift stop shop in 
Brooklyn, and New York. I believe they have two locations. I may be wrong, but check that out down below and go check them out while you're in Brooklyn. They are pretty cheap, I want to say. I wish I had went to the other location because I believe it's bigger. This one was like a smaller location. But, y'all, it is so cheap. They have so many freaking things to choose from. Um, I was a little bothered, though, because homegirls were following my mother and I around like we were stealing, but... That's beside the point. So, picked up two things to show her that, you know, girl, why you following me around? I got money. C calm down, girl. Um, so, basically, I got two jackets. Um, this one's a lighter jacket. Now that the weather's, like, warming up. This jacket is basically a linen jacket. And I'm pretty sure this is something that people buy, like, when they're, like, visiting resorts and stuff. It's called Sun Moda Resort Wear. It's a large, but it looks pretty, like, tiny. And basically, I liked it because of this design. Very, like, Afro-Latino-esque. Like, you know, taking me back to Puerto Rico, to the motherland. Um, and this one was $13. Um, fairly cheap for, like, what it is. And the last piece that I got is a new jean jacket. If you guys know me, you guys know that I'm, like the denim king and denim is my favorite thing like i'm a denim hard fan so like this one was much needed i'm actually looking for one that's like a darker wash but they didn't really have too many that were like my size one cheap enough for me to buy and three like one that would fit me like nice like they were very boxy and like i don't know so got this one and i just thought it was super cute and just like vintage looking i actually have one that's like this but it's really big so i wanted one that's more fitted um it is still a little boxy but it's, since it's so fitted it looks pretty nice on me and this one was 25 dollars so pretty good for a vintage jacket and it's by the brand bbi it was made in indonesia and yeah not much to say about this other than it's a cute light wash vintage denim jacket Woo child, my mouth is so dry from all this talking. So, I'm about to go. But before I go, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out. Be sure to follow me on my social medias at LaComidaJeremy, LaComidaJeremy.com. I post on all those socials frequently, so be sure to follow me on there. And yeah, I will see you guys very, very soon. Te quiero mucho. Y nos vemos. Bye.